Hello my soccer universe. Well, this is another one of those videos where I helped Andy again to uh, get a short from Austria and now that Lusk has beaten Rapid, uh, I'm shooting this on the 15th of August, although I think this might not post until September. But now that this happened, I can actually, sh I feel comfortable showing this. Now, this happened, um, I think early this past week where I started chatting with Andy, kind of showed him a few shirts that I got, uh, some of which you may have already seen uh, and some of which will still come. And then he said, you know, I have been thinking I maybe should get a, a Rapid, a Rapid Vienna, Rapid we call it in Austria, Jersey. My immediate direction is, if you must, if you must, I can help you with that. And then we checked out Wilhaben and um, I think I found one that was, you know, not a, um, it was a little bit of an odd uh, design, but it was a good price. I said, nah, he would really would like to have a striped one uh, or a, um, or one with a sash. And I stood the striped one. We look a little, a little bit more and then Egg Egg, actually he found uh, one absolute classic and that's um, the one I'm going to show you. But I want to tell you the story. So I contacted, um, this happened little, literally within half an hour and I contacted the seller and said, you know, I'm interested in this one. Can I have a few more pictures? And he asked it back, um, do you live uh, uh, in Linz? And I said, nah, yeah, I live in Linz, but you're down south and I'm up north. Uh, however, I'm going, uh, I'm at work at some uh, times and that's uh, closer to you. This, uh, when are you at work? Yeah, well, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was a Tuesday. And he said, yeah, okay, let's meet uh, lunchtime at a parking lot. Okay, I just said uh, to Andy, I will inspect the jersey. He said it's flaw it is more or less flawless. He has been hanging in uh, the wardrobe and I saw I met the guy. Um, he also wanted me to sell in a repeat training shirt with a ticket of the last game in the old stadium, which was against Celtic, which <laughs> Andy would have been thrilled uh, with. So I had to decline that, but um, he offered this for uh, 50 bucks. And, I sh and he showed it to me and I'll show it to you. Uh, and before I, t uh, before I, sh I show it to you, uh, it was funny because uh, that was one of the few days where I didn't wear a soccer jersey. I actually, that was uh, then in a way, I, w I was happy that um, because, you know, meeting, uh, I knew this will be proper, probably a repeat fan and uh, meeting those ahead of the last game. If I would have worn a last jersey, yeah, yeah, never so, so nice will he sell, will I mess up the sale. I was wearing a green by Packers jersey, so green and white. And it's funny, I uh, drive up, he showed me the power park parking lot and I drive up. And he's there with a 49ers jersey and so yeah, we, we chatted for half an hour on NFL and then he showed me the jersey. It's an XL, it's from the 90s, I think it's from 96 to 98 it was worn. And I gotta admit, despite it being a Rapid Vienna, it is a really good looking jersey. So let me show it to you. Uh, it's, as I say, it's from 96 to 98. Unfortunately, I think Lask in that period did not win in Vienna. Um, can tell you a story about that. But just look at the design. It's Diodora. The only Diodora shirt I have is my first ever it 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 Italy shirt. So um, the crest here is kind of stickered on and the rest is a lot of inlay and printed on pattern. Even the sponsor is printed on. I have to say, and uh, it's in really, really good condition. I think the only uh, flaw a little bit if you like is here on the back side of that sleeve you can see a few threads coming a little bit out but other than that there is uh, almost no stain or whatsoever uh, it is blank on the back now uh, the interesting part is it seems like that here the name should go and here the number but in Austria of course here the sponsor is watch in yellow with a beer brand Ottergringer would go and then the number and the name would be below. Um, I actually I think it's kind of well done and I hope Andy, maybe you wanna uh, try to get it printed somehow. I'm not sure how exactly. Someone would need to mimic that font. But the jersey is really, really, really good. Well, I, well what I do like in addition is that in the color you have here, you know, Esca Rapid and with the Diodora logo, this is really well done. And of course, the Diodora logos around the collar 
it's also uh, it's a really really nice shirt from a really really shitty club <laughs> no uh as i said i uh, well i do know i i don't want anything more uh, probably Beating Rapid is always a big satisfaction with them being the by far the most well supported team in Austria. And you see it already on the second hand market. You find a whole lot of Rapid shirts. Second, uh, interestingly, is Sturm Graz shirts. Those two teams you find a whole lot. And Rapid shirts you usually find even for a really, really decent price. Um, so they are really well supported. And uh, for that reason, there's always, it's always good to beat them. Uh, but I definitely recognize them as one of the most, if not the most important club in Austria overall. And yeah, again, really, I think it's a really nice Georgia jersey. Uh, it's not from the season 95, 96 where they won the champ championship, uh, where they had a similar design, but in hooped, where they also played in the European Cup Winners Cup final uh, against PSG, which which we which, which lost. And most interestingly. Uh, the hoops were a little bit wider than this, but the other than it's the same base design. But the logo was worn on this side, which to me makes no sense whatsoever, but tells you mid 90s. So yeah, um, my memories with the short, I think I was going, I, I at least saw one game with them playing this shirt live at the stadium in Vienna, the old stadium, I mean, the new stadium is, is there, it's just 90 degrees. Uh, um, as we, uh, turned around no i think i saw two 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 two, two, two guess but i think I, I i i don't know it was not a period where you go to to vienna and you win easily but i remember uh one particular occasion there was this was easter 98 i want to say where uh lask beat rapid vienna in a game that never should have gotten that out of hand five nil still the biggest win of lask against rapid vienna but the funny thing is both coaches got fired after that First, it was Ernst Dokubil from Rapid, uh, who got them to the championship and then uh, missed out on the second championship in 1997, nine, even made it to European Cup final. He got fired and for some reason, Lask also fired their coach because they wanted to get a bigger one in. Uh, one, one of the most idiotic, one of the most idiotic uh, firings ever. And then I, I remember this, was, there was a, like a two week break then in between and we go to Vienna to watch the game, it's a, really in high hopes, and we actually dominated. But in the run-up, the um, a Rapid fan comes and says, Is it really true that uh, Kenzie and not Brogadon is on the bench? He said, Get out of here. Yeah, I heard it. I said, Are you serious? So, yeah, uh, last dominated the game with a beautiful goal, led 1-0, and then in the last 50 minutes, uh, Rapid turned it around to win it, which was one of those a little bit gut-wrenching losses. But you know, the last 15 minutes for Rapid is one of the, the, the last thing I say about Rapid is the, one of the big traditions in, all, uh, in Austrian football. The Rapid quarter hour, so the last 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 minutes, the Rapid fans uh, clap the whole for the whole minute kind of to show, yeah, you've turned around in your history so many games in the last 50, 50 minutes to remind them. So yeah. Andy? Andy? Here it is. It will be coming your way soon. I hope you will enjoy it. It is in really good condition. I'm gonna pull it away now and hide it. <laughs> that way. But I, uh, as I said, I really like it. I especially have to have, 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 have to say, I, you know, you see the repeat shirt back there, which has a slight dark. I really like the bright green as well. So uh, that one's re really nice. And I always thought that the Bank Austria sponsor is also a rather nice one. So I hope you will enjoy having this, jer uh, this jersey. I. It would be really nice if you can get it somehow printed, but I know this will be really, really hard because I don't think there are any original prints left. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, plus the little history his wrestling. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up for that. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!